Tom here. I just did a video and I had it on picture, so I didn't get a video, so I did start this over again. Sorry about that. Um, as you can see here, I have a lot of the babies, and I've had some questions about how I know when the babies are born and how I get the mother out and uh, and they survive. There's over 40, 40 of them in here. Um... So they're all over, and I, and I got 16 new ones last night, as you can see them. But I'll show you how I do it. I don't take the mother out when she's holding the eggs or when she's ready to drop them, because I'm not, I'm inexperienced. I've only been doing this uh, since September last year. So we're going to go to the Tommy Tank's room, and I'll show you how I do it. So this is my 110, it's uh, 48 by 18 by 30 tall, and this is the secret, lava rocks. These are huge. Now the lava rocks have lots of grooves when I put them on, set them all up, I make them so they have little ga gaps in them, so the little fish can get inside them and hide, right? And that's what they do, they hide in these places, and then when I get to see them, or actually Sarah's seen them, that's my my daughter-in-law. When she's seen them, she told me, oh no, <laughs> right? So we, so we gotta get them out. And, uh, and they were tiny. And so um, we had to drain the tank right down, which we did a video yesterday showing you how it was done. And then we got them all out, we got them put away. But that's how I do it, the lava rocks. And now in my other tank over here, as you can see I have tanks here, here. You all know that, you see the videos. And then these guys over here. Now in this one here, now look at all the lava rocks. <clears throat> now these were the little tiny babies, That's they're about that big now. Nice size, and these ones are coming in really nice. And there's um, 140 in here. Now look at the lava rocks, how I got these stacked all up. There is hundreds and hundreds of hiding spaces for the babies, right? When I first put them in this way, they, they fought. Now, they all get along. I find if you keep all the babies together, I don't really see any fighting, right? Just feeding. So, anyways, the, the, the secret I do is the lava rocks, which saves the babies. And uh, then it comes a lot of work, because then i got to get the fish out of its way. And then i got to start netting all the babies. But I bring, I bring the water right down, and that's my front door. So, I just have to bring the water out there. This is my front foyer where I put my uh, Tommy Tanks room. So when you walk in the house, this is like a porch area. And I had a cement floor, as you can see. And so underneath is the uh, storage room or coal cellar. So this is the, so the, the solidest place to put this, considering I've got 800 gallons here or more. Well, probably 800 gallons. Plus stone, rock, everything else on top of it. So that's how I did it with these ones here. And she's holding, do you move away? She's holding back there, eggs in her mouth right now. There she is right there. If I can get, oh, she's jumping around. She won't open her mouth, but she's got eggs in there because they, they did a little dance, right? And uh, these are the guys here. And they did the mating down there. They did a little dance down there. So that's the secret if you want to know. Put the um, lot of lava rocks in and then uh, and you'll see the babies when you see them big enough that you can actually net them, you'll get them. So as I said, I've been doing this since September. Um, I've got 140 in that one tank and then coming back here again. I have 40 of those ones, and the ones I got out yesterday are these ones down here. So I've got, and they're really tiny. And I, I got them out and we saved them. I lost a few, my error. Uh, <clears throat> they got, I put a filter, I put a sponge here. Uh, they got inside the filter system, and I had a hard time getting them out. I got five of them out, but one passed away. But uh, I'm, I'm upset about that part. But they'll all grow, and then they'll put them in the other tank. 
So thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you out uh, how I do it. Take care, and keep on fishing. Bye for now.